All right, what is good? What is happening, everybody? It's your boy Primitive AK here, back with another video for you guys. Today, we're going to be showcasing the top seven class setups to be using inside of X Define. These are some of the best loadouts that I feel are going to be able to help you get an advantage on your enemies. And these weapons by far are just outperforming everything else in the game. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. It's completely free, helps the channel grow and gets you more motivation to make more videos for all of you amazing people. So without further ado, we got a lot to cover. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Our first weapon of this video is going to be the MP7. This is probably one of my favorite SMGs in the game simply because of its stopping power as well as its fire rate and overall all recoil control and it has some pretty decent range to go with it and you can easily control a lot of the recoil on this weapon if you build it correctly of course so let's go ahead and showcase the attachments we got on this thing so for the mp7 what we have on this class is going to be the chrome line barrel to give you that extra added short to medium range with the reduction of movement speed to go with it we have the leather wrap front front grip to give us more aim walking speed and aiming stability the whole goal of this class setup is movement so that's precisely what you're going to be going for um, magazine is going to be extended mag i prefer to use extended mag on this thing even though it does decrease the reload speed and movement speed if you feel that that's actually bringing you back a bit you can actually use the quick mag which is equally as good it does give you extra reload speed as well as ammo capacity to go with it um that's just my personal preference to use extended mag because i like to deal with large groups of enemies i like to ping, put myself in those types of situations next attachment we have is going to be the quick draw grip this is going to give you more sprint shoots time as well as ads time to go with it at the cost of aiming stability and last but not least our last stock here is going to be the precision stock to give us that extra recoil control with the horizontal and vertical side so it does kind of tighten up that recoil a bit Additionally, another option that you can use is the lightweight stock. This will also give you more uh, aim walking speed. However, I've seen a lot of downsides when using this, which is why I decided to stick with just precision in this case. But overall, MP7 is a very good weapon, and I highly recommend you guys give it a shot. The next weapon on our list is going to be no surprise to many of you guys. And by the way, this list is in no particular order, and that's going to be the ACR. This weapon has been making waves in this game as one of the most broken weapons inside of S Defiant. It is overall very strong, very very easy to control and just this weapon is just incredibly easy to use especially at range as long as you build it correctly of course but we're going to be showcasing the best in slot attachment for this thing so you guys can understand what exactly is going to be the best weapon to use so let's go ahead and get right into it so for the acr 6.8 your first attachment you're going to want to be using is the brake i prefer to use this one simply because of the fact that it does give you that extra horizontal recoil control additionally i have seen people also use the lightweight suppressor which is another very good option um, I personally haven't been a fond of using suppressors. However, uh, some people are a fan of it. Um, it's just entirely up to you in that case. My barrel that I like to use is going to be the chrome line for the extra range with the weapon at the cost of a little bit of short and medium range. Additionally, you can also use the stabilizing. Um, what you can actually do is use the stabilizing and then swap out the muzzle for the suppressor so that way you get the extra range with it. Um, both are very good options. I've kind of played around with both and find that this is uh, the overall my, just my personal preference here. Um, but you basically want to build this one for long range damage as well as stabilizing as well so stabilizing here is another great option or chrome lined both are very good options to run with this our optics is going to be the reflex sight i love using reflex on this weapon it's huge and it absolutely does help out at long range magazine is going to be quick round quick mag um you don't really need extended mag on this thing quick mag is more than enough to get the job done your rear grip is going to be quick draw once again sprint shoot time is important and also ads time very important on this weapon as well so definitely rock that one and if for any reason you decide to not use a muzzle and you prefer to use a stock the precision stock is a very good option to go with as well as the folded um pre preferably if i would go with precision in this case if you are using a stock but once again that just comes down to personal preference but once again acr even though it was nerfed for those that are curious they did nerf this weapon a tad bit with the ads time this weapon is still by far one of the best weapons to be using in the game moving on to our next class setup here we have the tac 50 for those that love to quick scope this is going to be one of your favorite weapons to go with now the class i built is not particularly built for hitting clips per se it's more or less for consistent damage at long range as well as dealing with multiple targets all at once so do bear that in mind when using this class setup it's not 100 percent built for quick scoping and making crazy montages if you want to build for that you'll build for strictly aim down sight time as well as idle stability however what i built with this class is primarily for aiming stability so that way i can deal with multiple targets and follow-up swatch let's go ahead and take a look at last setup for this thing so our sniper scope we're going to leave it on the standard optic uh you could change this down to 
the eight time scope. I didn't realize this was actually on the 12 time scope when I was making this video. So um, I recommend bringing this down to the eight time scope. That's just my personal preference there. You really don't want to use the 12 times. I didn't realize this when I was using it um, a while ago. So definitely bring that down to the eight time scope. Your barrel is going to be the lightweight barrel. It's going to give you more ADS time and movement speed to go with the weapon. So you definitely want to spec for that. Quick Mag is going to help you with those reload speeds as well, because the weapon does have a very slow reload speed for a sniper. So definitely make sure you run that. Our, our next grip is going to be the fabric grip. Your aim stability is going to be all over the place with this weapon. So you want to make sure that you can bring that down just a little bit. Recoil recovery is a bit of a problem. However, um, it's not too noticeable on this one. You just got to make sure your follow up swaps, uh, follow up shots are easy to control afterwards. And this grip will help you out with just that. Moving on, we also have the padded stock to go with it for the extra recoil recovery to counteract that negative recoil recovery that we're getting. So you're basically getting a 5% bonus to negate the other 10 and aiming stability and ADS flinch. Huge help on this weapon as well. Can't stress it enough. But once again, TAC-50 continues to be a one-shot machine. And for those that like to go for montage clips and everything uh you can spec this for more aiming stability if you'd like as well but i feel like this is more than enough to get the job done moving on we have our m4a1 one of the most classic weapons in the game this thing is a laser beam at range and very easy to, easy to control at range with the proper attachments it does have lower damage than something like the acr however with the right attachments this weapon can out damage and out range the acr when you spec it properly as long as you're running into players that don't necessarily have any aim whatsoever but let's go ahead and take a look at the class we have for the m4 so first things first we have a stabilizing you're going to want to you're going to want to stabilize the recoil as much as possible with this one front rail is going to be your super light which is going to give you that extra ads time and movement speed to go with the weapon Optics is going to be the reflex. Once again, reflex is very good on this weapon, so I can't stress that enough. All the other sights just really are not needed because of the craziness that's going on in this game all at once. Our rear guard is going to be quick draw. Once again, shoot sp sprint shoot time is very important on this game, especially with how arcadey it feels. So you want to make sure you have as much of that as possible with our ADS time to go with it. Our stock also is going to be the padded stock once again to give us that recoil control, aim stability, and ADS flinch. Um, I have tried some of the other attachments like the reinforced stock however the 25 percent ads hit flinch really isn't that much um you really don't get flinched that much on this game so i feel like padded stock is more than enough to get the job done but once again guys m4 continues to show its dominance as a very reliable weapon in the game and i highly recommend you guys go ahead and give this weapon a shot if you're able to do so next up is going to be the mp5a2 a very reliable smg that has a high rate of fire and decent damage to go with it very fast reload speed and overall you can take out your targets at pretty decent ranges to go with this thing uh, it does lack the damage range when you try to shoot people at longer range however if you build this weapon correctly you can still out catch people off guard with the mp5 and surprise your enemies with decent damage at range to go with it let's go ahead and showcase the class setup we got for this thing so for the mp5 our first attachment here is going to be the lightweight suppressor um i feel like this is a weapon built for rushing and staying stealthy as much as possible and the lightweight suppressor is going to help you do exactly that um so it does help you stay off the radar and i think this is going to be a very huge help for those that like to flank their enemies our barrel is going to be the stabilizing barrel once again we want to bring down the recoil as much as possible horizontal and vertical are going to be your two culprits to negate that so bringing those down will certainly help manage a lot of the problems with the weapon moving on we have our pistol grip this is going to be built primarily for uh submachine guns or lightweight weapons and this is precisely where it's going to shine with that extra sprint to shoot time and min max spread bring up the horizontal recoil control by about five percent but you really don't notice it that much with this weapon so you don't have to worry about that quick mag is going to be the way to go since i mentioned you're going to be in your enemy's face a lot so you want to make sure you have a mag where you can reload fast and you get a nice little plus five bonus added to your magazine which is very helpful and last but not least we have the folded stock to give us more movement speed and min max spread yet again and min max spread is actually very useful if you able to, if you if you are able to spec for it it does help tighten up that recoil just a little bit with your weapons so you want to make sure that you're tightening that up as much as possible with your weapons because it does certainly help make sure that you're not having too much weapon spread and help you deal with longer targets at range like i mentioned this thing does have a bit of kick towards the range and it also does have very weak damage at long range so just bear that in mind do not treat this like an assault rifle treat it like a submachine gun because that's precisely where it's going to shine
Moving on, we have the AK-47. This is a very classic weapon that a lot of people have been ignoring. Um, I'm not entirely sure why. I don't really see too many people using this weapon, but this weapon is actually very good. There's a chance they might end up nerfing the AK-47 or the uh, ACR in the near future because ACR is still one of the top most used weapons right now in the game. However, this thing does have very high body shot damage as well as very high headshot damage. And I can't stress it enough. You definitely want to make sure you're checking this weapon out. Don't ignore it because this thing definitely does hit hard. But let's go ahead and showcase what we got for this class setup so you guys can see the action on this thing. First things first, our barrel is going to be the stabilizing for that extra recoil control yet again. If you guys notice with a lot of these classes, there seems to be a pattern with a lot of these things. So you want to make sure that you're pay atten paying attention to that pattern. Uh, so we'll be using stabilizing here. Our front rail is going to be the angle for the extra aiming stability and horizontal control. This thing does have a lot of kick if you're not controlling it properly. So angle is going to help you deal with that as well. Optic is going to be the reflex. Once again, reflex is just the best sight to be using in the game. All the others really don't matter. Uh, magazine is going to be the quick mag as well. Plus five ammunition as well as 15% reload speed. Huge help. This game is very arcadey, so you want to make sure that you're able to play into that play style. We have the heavy grip to give us more ADS hit flinch and also horizontal control as well. Tightening up that recoil just a little bit just to give you more control at range is very important to go with it. And last but not least, if you decide to not use a front rail, which isn't 100% needed, but I'd still recommend, uh, you would probably use something like the padded stock to go with it as well. Just giving you guys more options in case for some reason you feel one of the attachments really isn't helpful. But once again, that's entirely up to you. What I have here is probably one of what I think is the most ideal setup to be going with it. And like I said, it's very good at dealing with long range targets and it does have very high damage to go with it as well. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get over to the next weapon. Last but not least, we have the next weapon, which is going to be the Vector. I have seen a lot of creators ignore this weapon, and this weapon definitely should not be ignored as such. I've actually picked this weapon off the ground uh, quite a few times and was very surprised just with how well this weapon handles itself with multiple targets. Now, it does lack some some things in certain areas that may bring this weapon back however if you do play your cards right this weapon can certainly outgun a lot of weapons including the mp5 at close range let's go ahead and showcase what we got to go on this class setup so first things first on the vector we're going to be using stabilizing uh the lightweight suppressor to go with it um i like once again this is meant to be treated like the mp5 close range in your enemy's face flanking as much as possible so you want to be using lightweight suppressor there we have stabilizing to go with that recoil control once again tightening up that tightening up the recoil as much as possible is very crucial to making your class setups work in this game for the front rail you don't particularly need a front rail, however, if you do decide to not use something like the suppressor or stabilizing, you can use the pistol as your front rail to go with it. Very helpful. Um, now, there are two options you can go with here. You can either use the quick mag, which is my personal preference. I like to use a quick mag because I like to reload as fast as possible. However, if you do notice that the ADS time or movement speed with the weapon is not that bad when using an extended mag, you can also use the extended mag to go with it. However, just do bear in mind that you are losing a lot of reload speed when using this. So just bear that in mind when using that. But um, I know some people may be uh, may, may not be attracted to the magazine size. So if you want to bump that up, extended mag can be a very good option to go with. We have quick draw once again to give us more sprint shoot time and ADS time to go with it. Very helpful as well on the weapon. So definitely recommend you give that a shot. And last but not least, we have the lightweight stock. We have aim walking speed. That's the primary re reason we're going to be using this one. Um, you are losing 10% ADS time, but from my experience, it's not really noticeable too much. Uh, it is slower, but it's not enough to where you can't outgun your enemies so just bear that in mind but anyways guys that's about it for all what i have for the top seven class setups to be using inside of x defiant let me know what you guys think is the most the best class setup and if you have a class setup that i haven't recommended in this video leave it in the comments box down below um i may have some more videos in the near future with x defiant so if you guys do enjoy the, these videos let me know in the comments box down below so it gives me motivation to make more videos for all of you amazing people but anyways guys thank you guys so much for all the love and i'll catch you guys in the next one it's your boy primitive ak signing out Peace out, fellas.